Hey, this is Allison from East Cobb Tutoring Center. Today we're going to talk about distance and midpoint for ordered triplets in the three-dimensional space. So um, I have my formula up here that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to be plugging my points in and then simplifying it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is subtract the x-coordinates. So I've got 3 minus negative 1, or 3 plus 1. Then I do the same thing with the y's, negative 2 minus 4, square that, and then I do the same thing with the z's, 0 minus 5, square that. And then after this, it's just simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. So the first guy is going to give me 4 squared, which is 16. The next one is going to give me negative 6 squared, which is positive 36. And then finally, 5 squared, which is 25. Okay, then we're going to add this step up and simplify our radical. I've got a calculator here just for the sake of time. It adds up to 78. Square root of 78. Let's see if that can be simplified at all. We know it's an even number, so 2 goes in there. Um, let's see, that would be 35 and 4 is 39, which is 3 times 13. So, nope, can't simplify it. So, my final answer is the square root of 78. So, that's the distance. Now, let's take a look at midpoint. Let's scroll back up so we can capture one of these ordered pairs. I'm going to use the first one here, the 3, negative 2, 0. So, let's start a new page was um, 3, negative 2, 0. And then we need the second one because we're looking for a midpoint between the two points. So let's go back and look. 3, negative 2, 0, and then it was negative 1, 4, 5. There we go. Okay, to figure out the midpoint, all we do is we average the x values like this, we add them up, divide by 2, it's an addition up there. We average the y values, there's a 1 here, and we add up the z values, divide by 2, that one got a little messy, but I think you get the idea. And then this creates a new ordered triple, um, and that will be our midpoint. So now all we need to do is plug into our formula. So the x part, I'm going to add the 3 and the negative 1. That makes 2 over 2. Next is negative 2 plus 4, also 2 over 2. And then finally, 5 over 2. So for my final answer for the midpoint, my ordered pair is going to, ordered triplet, excuse me, is going to be 1, 1, and 5 halves. And that's it. That's how you do it.